All right, I've got a new effective editor to the library. Um, I did debut this on my live Tuesday show, so some of you have already seen this, but I've got it all worked out, and I've actually got multiple variations on it now. Um, so I'm calling it Summon and Release. And the idea behind it is when your blade is facing up um, and you give a stab into the air, it's actually going to summon, um, in this case the first one here is, is based off the Thor font from Jesse, so when I, point my saber, when I stab my saber up, I'm going to summon lightning down the blade, and then there's a boost added to it, so there'll be a hilt boost on this first one. So what's going to happen, I stab the, uh, if I stab pointing straight up, lightning will come right down the blade, it'll sit at my hilt, and it'll be kind of an unstable lightning effect. And then, if you tilt your blade um, parallel or down, and you do a stab motion, it'll actually shoot the lightning out. And the boost lasts 15 seconds after you summon or release. Um, but And then I have multiple other versions, so I just wanted to kind of explain it. I'm going to show it. Uh, that's why the camera's pointing up, because I want to point it up and show you. Um, getting that stab motion down takes a little bit of practice. Um, I'm probably going to mess it up a couple times. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're replacing the regular stab effect, and I'm giving it a, a two, uh, basically two effects. One effect that responds when you're pointing up, and one effect that responds when you're parallel or down. Um, so, inst so instead of having the regular stab where the tip applies, this gives you this new effect. It also gives a boost. So we'll uh, swing on. So now, hopefully the camera's picking it up. So if I stab pointing towards the sky, I'm going to get a lightning strike down the blade, and then I'll get lightning at that. So this is just a blue audio clicker, so there's nothing to it. But now, I have my lightning strike, and then I've got lightning at the hilt. And that, will, that effect, that boost, will last for 15 seconds. But now if I move my blade parallel, I can release the lightning. So the, the effect, whether it's shooting out or coming down, is based on if your blade is up or parallel or down. And that boost lasts 15 seconds after you do either action. Um, so you get, once you get used to the motion, oops. so I get my lightning boost, or my, I get my lightning summon, hilt boost, and then lightning release. So it lets you use the stab for more than just a regular stab motion. Myself, I don't really use the stab effect. It's in all of my styles, but I found it, it it's not something I use. So this is repurposing that both that gesture and that effect to give you something new. And I have uses for it beyond just Thor, but obviously this Thor font's pretty cool. And when I saw it, I thought about, hey, it'd be great if I could summon lightning and have it actually do something to the blade. So this is, uh, on the library, there's going to be multiple versions. This one is the lightning summon and release. And it's got a hilt boost, and that hilt boost just means it's only going to stay here. And then, let's see. So this is another version, same thing. This is still the lightning summon. So I'm going to summon lightning, but instead of it just staying at the hilt, that unstable white is going to apply to the entire blade for 15 seconds. So it's a boost to your blade, so you get lightning on your whole blade if you want. Um, so swing on, regular blue blade. Summon my lightning. Oops. And now I get a lightning blade active, and again, it'll save 15 seconds. And then I can also do the release, which shoots the power out. And it'll stay in this white electric blade for 15 seconds, and then it'll return to whatever your base blade is. Um, and you can ex extend those timings. You can change them out. Um, there's, a, there's multiple versions, so now that timing's run out, and it goes back to being a regular blade. And then you can, you know, summon the lightning again. Oops. That motion is tricky. There we go. It does take practice. It's also, I'm trying not to hit my ceiling. Um, so, and I'm six foot three, so it's not necessarily the easiest thing. Um, so now I've got my lightning effect applied. And then every time you do either the summon or release, that 15 seconds applies to this. So this is the full blade version. So you have, um, and, and there'll be a couple of versions, but the hilt applies the boost to the hilt, the full blade. And then we'll actually show, this is going to be the third variation for lightning. Um, so this version applies a swing boost. So normally I'm swinging, it's going to be a blue blade. But if I summon my lightning, now I get a lightning swing. So it's going to be based on swing speed, that lightning effect will show up. And again, it lasts for 15 seconds. I can also do my release. But now, instead of it always being an unstable white lightning effect on the blade, this one bases it off a of swing. And again, 15 seconds. 
and then it's back to normal. And um, so you have that boost for that period of time. So you have the, the hilt, the full blade, and then the swing boost option. And then beyond Thor and beyond summoning lightning, I've also made, uh, so the lightning summon is an, it's an unstable effect, the entire thing. So the summon, the hilt boost, all the boosts, they're all uh, kind of an unstable. Um, it's a brown noise flicker and a few other things. Um, so they're meant to be unstable. I've made a power uh, summon as well. So, and I'm an 80s kid. I think of like He-Man, uh, 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 Space Wind, you mentioned Thundercats. Um, and also the early uh, poster for Star Wars where Luke is standing with the saber raised over his head and Leia's laid out at his feet and you have Han and Chewie in the background. It looks kind of like uh, Luke's actually summoning power to his saber. So I kind of took all that and I made this effect. So this is a more stable, it's an audio flicker. Um, so this one, again, there'll be a hilt boost, there'll be a full blade boost and a swing boost. But this one, instead of being an unstable effect, this one's an audio flicker that you get applied in white, and you can play with your colors and stuff. So, oops. Come on. Gotta get that motion. There we go. So that was the motion. It, it, it does take practice, so as you see. But now I've got, I had the audio flicker run down the blade as a power boost. Now I've got this audio flicker at the base, and then I can also release the power back out and again that power releases an audio flicker for the power one so if you want lightning choose the lightning summon if you just want power choose the power summon um, but this gives you the the emitter effect and it'll stay active for 15 seconds and then that'll go away and that fades out and then this is the full blade version similarly to lightning again audio flicker instead of the light so Get my swing on. Let's see if I can get it the first time. There we go. And then I get the white audio flicker applied. So you still get the power running down the blade if it's pointing up. If you're parallel or down, you get the power running out. So it's the, the even though you choose either lightning or power, um, they both act the same in that they react to being pointed up or being pointed parallel and down. Um, and again, they use stab. So if you apply these, you won't have the normal stab at your tip. Um, and then that runs for 15 seconds. And then the last one. I use the same font over and over just for timings. I still love swing on. Um, and then this one applies the, the audio flicker swing in white when I pull down my power again. Let's try to get it right. Didn't do it. There we go. So now this one has the white audio flicker applied as a boost. And again, that's a 15 second boost. Um, so really, in the library, you'll have the option for Lightning Summon and Power Summon, and then you'll, underneath those, you'll have Hilt Boost, Full Blade Boost, or Swing Boost, and these are what the three out of that 15 seconds ran out. Um, so those are going to be there. I do have more in mind I'm going to play with. Um, they Again, they use Stab, um, so whatever, if you wanted an effect sound specific to these motions, you would make it your Stab sound. Um, so what I did, the, I, I don't know if I said it earlier, I had Jesse's Thor font, I actually took one of his force sounds as a lightning strike. Um, I cut off the little hammer noise at the beginning in uh, Audacity, and I used that as my stab effect. Um, and that it, that paired really well. There wasn't a specific lightning one. I'm sure people can make it. I'm sure Jesse even can make one. Uh, but so if you want to use specific sounds for that su summoning effect and also the release effect, you'd name it your stab sound um, because it is actually your stab effect. It's just being per repurposed for a different use. Um, And then lastly, I took the lightning summon and I've made a prion out of it. So, and I took the same sound that I made for stab and on this font it's set as prion. Um, so now when you turn, and this isn't a stab one, so this one you just, when you hit power, uh, your prion effect is summoning lightning. Um, and then it'll stay at the hilt for a few seconds and then you'll get your ignition. Um, so I took kind of the piece of the, the summon effect that's for the summoning of lightning and I made it a prion um, for those of you who just want to have it as a way to turn it on. So this is the Thor font. I made a custom prion sound again, just modifying one of the force sounds that had lightning. But it's going to be a lightning strike. Lightning stays at the hilt for a few seconds, and then that ignition. And the ignition time is based on how long your prion sound file is. So we'll do this one. So lightning strike, lightning sitting here, ignition. So this is the prion called lightning summon. And again, just like all the other prion effects, they depend on the length of your prion. Uh, sound file for when your blade ignites. You can modify the timings. Um, 
to uh, these were set up specifically to the sound file I had made, but you can modify them um, if you watch the Crash Course videos. Uh, so I'll show that one again. So again, this is the Lightning Summon Prion, and it's only a summon. This one doesn't have a release because it's just a prion effect. And that ignition. Um, so there's uh, several options, particularly if you're using the Thor font and you want some lightning, you can do your Lightning Summon Prion. You can also add the new summon and release effects, either the lightning or power-up, based on your case. Um, and uh, there'll be more summon effects coming. I have some in mind. Um, I wanted to get this out because I did air it on Tuesday and I kind of told people it was coming. Um, but I haven't had all the time to play with the other ideas. Um, but actually being able to now split effects based on position of the blade gave me a lot of other ideas. So not even just for stab. So over time I'll be releasing more stuff. Um, but this one I know, I'm hoping people like, I know uh, everybody's really, I mean, this is a really cool Thor font, so I thought, hey, let's let's enhance it even further, um, so you'll have that effect possible. Um, so, hope you enjoy.